Good day, everybody. How are you all doing? This is Dr. Nandi. Today, we are going to talk about uh, an AP statistics uh, problem on linear regression, least square line. But before I get started, I would like to mention that uh, we have solutions to all kinds of stat problems in this channel. Uh, you can do math. So please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner and you'll have free access to all the problems, stat problems that I've solved for you. So without further ado, let me share my computer screen with you. Slope of least square regression line problem. The relationship between the amount of time spent working Q in hours and expected score on a group presentation on the scale zero to 100 in a random sample of groups among AP statistics students in groups of three were found to be grade is equal to 42.01 plus 9.68 times Q. How will a group's expected grade be affected if they work on the presentation for three more hours? And there are five choices. So we are going to look at the slope of the regression line. So slope of the regression line is the coefficient of Q. Here grade is your dependent variable and it depends on Q, which is the independent variable. So amount of hours. So slope of the regression line is change in grade or change in Y divided by change in hours X spent working. So from the regression line equation, slope is 9.68. Hence 9.68 is equal to change in grade divided by change in hours spent working. If one group spends three more hours, then change in hours is three. So 9.68 is equal to change in grade divided by three, multiply by three on both sides of the equal to sign to get three times 9.68 is equal to change in grade. Thus change in grade for working three more hours is three times 9.68 or 29.04. Hence, their grade will go up by 29.04 uh, points. Correct answer is choice B, which says their expected grade will go up by 29.04 points if they work for three more hours. So I'll stop here today. If you have any question, you can always write me a comment. You can also contact me by my WhatsApp number, which is at the in the description panel. So hit the description panel to get my WhatsApp number. And you can uh, always, of course, write a comment and please subscribe to my channel because I'm coming back uh, next time with a, a AP stats problem on joint probability. So take care. I'll see you next time. Have a nice day.